Hey everybody, Rick here with Apple Valley Farm. Today, I'm gonna to show you something very welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out here with me for a few minutes. I'm Ricky, I'm with Apple Valley Farm, and today I wanna to show you how to make one of these porch welcome signs that are so popular. I'm not gonna show you how to paint it today. That's gonna to be like in maybe a step two of this video, but for today, we're gonna to build it. It's not very hard, but there is a little bit of a process, so I wanna walk you through it and show you how to build your own welcome sign, and then you can paint it however you want to. With that, let's go. All right, so we don't need a lot to make this sign. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty simple here. Uh, if we look on the back of it, it's put together with it's two boards held together with some wood slats. And that is basically it. So I've got some, I've got two one by sixes. These are six feet long. Um, of course, I've got a, a tape and a pencil and a speed square. Uh, these are essential, this is optional. Um, a brad nailer with some one inch brads, a cordless drill with a small bit, uh, an impact driver with a Phillips head, uh, uh, blah, with a Phillips head bit on it, uh, one inch screws, a couple of clamps. Oh, I've got five scrap pieces of nine inch stuff. It doesn't really matter exactly what size it is. Those are just to join these together. That is it. Uh, so with that, let's get to building this thing. So the first thing we want to do is cut our one by sixes to five and a half feet. Then we'll sand the edges really well. Then I'm going to use a straight edge to make sure that the edges are flush with one another. Once we get that done, I want to clamp everything down in place on both ends pretty securely. Now I'm going to mark the middle of the board and I'm going to mark six inches and then 18 inches from each end. This is where our support slats are going to go. All right, so we'll take the first slat, start it out in the middle, secure it with a couple of brads and then work the others in there. Now we're gonna drill some pilot holes and we do that because when we put these screws, the one inch decking screws in there, they're gonna to wanna to split these boards unless we drill a pilot hole. So drill the pilot hole, use the one inch screws, secure these in place on all the slats. And then when we're done, we will unclamp everything. And that is it. Looking beautiful, looking ready to finish. That is it. Thank you again for hanging out with me for a few minutes. I hope you learned something. And if we can answer any questions for you or help you with anything, or maybe even make some signs for you, please give me a shout, let me know. You can give me a shout over at info at applevalleyfarmga.com, or you can hook up with us over at www.applevalleyfarmga.com. Hook up with us on all your favorite social media sites. Hey, thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel if you're watching here on YouTube. Thank you again. Have a great day. Be safe and go make something.